Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, I'm cooking in the kitchen. Gonna cook up some good old picadillo, uh, make some tacos, it's gonna be fun. Stick around. All right, hey guys. We're gonna start off with uh, half an onion. I'm gonna saute this onion just for a little bit. We're not gonna totally get it translucent or nothing. Just wanna soften them up a little bit because they're definitely going to cook. And I'm on uh, about uh, a little less than half of number four on my burner here. Started hot with a little vegetable oil. Let's see, it was a little hot, but it's alright. Stir them around real quick. To this, I'm gonna add a little garlic. I've got two cloves of garlic here that I am gonna mash in there. That cleaned off. Peeled garlic, of course. And I actually have two little ones, so probably about three cloves of garlic in there. Okay. That's stirred around. Alright, gonna let this go for a little bit and then we're gonna put the meat on. Alright, as you can see these onions are getting a little more where I want them. To see that I'm adding a pound and a half of 18 or 80 20 hamburger meat, ground chuck rather. Add this the onions and the garlic. Spin around a little bit. Again, I'm still running on a on a medium to so low, high low, I guess if you will, number four on my burner. Alright. Let this this thing saute it up just a little bit to the browns. And uh, we'll see how much uh, grease we have out there. We do have a lot. We'll have to drain it and then uh, add the next ingredients. All right, as you can see, I've kind of pushed all this meat to the side here. Get that grease on that side. And there's quite a bit, that 80-20. I've got this uh, pretty cool little grease trap here. You got a screen. You just spoon your grease in there. Also, had to raise my flame. I told you I had my fire up. It's not flame, it's electric. But I told you I had my fire up around uh, to the number four setting. I actually kicked it up to number seven to cook that hamburger meat fast enough. Anyhow, let me get this grease out of here. And uh, we'll get the potatoes on. Alright guys, potato time. These are meats browning nice. I took all that grease out of there. And what I've got here is one whole potato. Uh, no, it wasn't that big. Maybe, I don't know. About like that. <laughs> More or less. Anyhow, one whole potato. And I've cubed it about the size of, uh, say, dice. Like throwing dice. About like that. So just going to put that in there. And you can make these as big or as little as you want. I like them kind of bite-sized like this. All right. Get these all in here stirred around. Get them going nice. Kind of let them sit. Looks like it's a lot of potatoes, but I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> It's all right, it's the way I like it. Meat and potatoes can't go wrong, right? All right, gotta let this sit for just a few minutes, a couple minutes, if that. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And I probably should have done this a little earlier, but it's all right, it's all gonna go together. 
This will help thicken in the gravy, per se, when it's all done. All right, just kind of get that mixed around a little bit and coated. And to this, I'm gonna add two cups of water. And see how that uh, holds it, should be enough. May have to add a little more. You basically kind of want to boil the, the potatoes or just help cook them for a sec. All right, so we'll get that in here. Two cups of water. That got it quiet, didn't it? Actually, kick my heat up back up to number four. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's actually pretty good. I may add just a little bit more water here in a little bit. But let's I'm gonna let this simmer for a little while, and uh, be adding some seasonings here next. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit, okay? All right, guys. Been simmering for a few minutes here. From where I'm gonna add a diced serrano pepper, okay? Just kind of, kind of here and there. I like a little heat in here. That's just going to go throughout. Also, to this, I'm going to add uh, one small can of Rotel diced tomatoes with green chilies. Normally, you could add tomato sauce or tomato paste if you have it, but I'm going to add the stewed tomatoes. And you can go fresh tomatoes, and I have fresh tomatoes too. I may do that here in a little bit, but right now, we're just going to add this in here and let it go. Also, Gonna drop in some comino or cumin. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of cumin to this. We'll get that right here, right now. Got one. And again, this is optional. You don't have to add it, but it gives it a real authentic flavor. And I like it a lot. It's very good in most Hispanic dishes. You'll see beans, rice. Add that in there, let that go. Again, stir that up. Let's go around. And that smells real, real good, guys. Let me tell you. Now, one more step. And you know me and my suckle busters. SPG. Salt, pepper, garlic. That's all it is, right? So, this is not going to measure. This is just going to be a uh, light coating. taste later on. If it adds and it needs more, I'll add more. Alright. I'm going to let this go for a little bit and I'll probably add just a little bit of chili powder in here. That's where we're at and that's how it's going to sit. Let it simmer. Low medium heat and then be ready to rock and roll here in a little bit. All right, guys, we've been simmering here about 20 minutes, and as you can see, it's thickened up really nice. That's how it's supposed to be, nice and thick. I made a comment earlier about possibly putting some uh, chili powder in here, but I'm not going to do that. I was just trying to get a little color, but it looks great. And as far as the heat from the chili powder, uh, I got those little serranos in there. Now I'll do it right. Um... Probably gonna give it another 10 minutes, but let me see if I can get a little taste here. Sorry, I'm not at the angle, it's gonna I'm not gonna be on camera. It's gonna be hot. No, that's good. Might need just a little more SPG. Definitely has the right amount of Camino, which was two tablespoons. Put a little more of this SPG on there. for the, the salt and the pepper and a little more garlic. I got those garlic cloves in there, but just needs a little more something. And what I need to check is the potatoes. They should be tender, but that's the main thing. I like them. I like them soft. So I've got this other spoon here. 
You can see that color consistency is what you want. Let me see here. On this side. Oh yeah. See that? See how that's cut really good? Yeah, see? That's what you want, a little bite through. You can eat this either as a stew in a, in a bowl with some corn chips or flour tortilla on the side or as tacos, you know, and I prefer to eat it as taco. But I can eat it, I can go either way. In the winter time, this is a very good comfort dish when it's cold outside. Uh, it's not cold outside today, but uh, it is, uh, it's a good meal no matter what. Very comforting, very satisfying. So, I'm going to let this simmer for another 10 minutes for about a 30 minute cook time. And uh, we'll come back and uh, warm up some tortillas and we're going to taste the taco. Alright guys, here are the tacos. I made me three. Threw in and threw a little cheese in there. Picadillo tacos. Don't get no better than that, let me tell you. Let's give them a taste. Alright guys, let's try these tacos out. I know they're going to be good. Look at that. Pico de gallo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That seasoning's perfect. Perfect. Right amount of Camino. Garlic. That um, Rotel tomato stew gives it a good flavor combo instead of just a tomato sauce. Give it a shot and bite from the other side. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good, guys. Something different. Good for the family night meal here. Dinner. Can't go wrong meat and potatoes. Everything in between. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you liked it. If you haven't made it before, give it a shot. Let me know. And if you do, appreciate you guys. Catch you next one. Later.